Hi, Denise. Can you hear me now? Hey, I can. As you can see here. Um, I'll have to reach out to Employment Council if we have employment law questions because I'm not an employment attorney. It's officially 7.16 a.m. So we're about to hit our workout. We'll see you guys when we come back. Done with our leg workout and uh, I'm gonna go to Starbucks right now. Yeah, we never usually go to Starbucks after the gym, but we figured that today would be worth it. It's gonna be a long day. Of work. It is gonna be a very long day. We're gonna be basic and we'll get some PSLs. Let's go. It's around 9.30. I usually don't get ready this much for work uh, since I do work from home and I'm remote, but I figured that since I'm vlogging today that I wanted to get dressed up nice and look good. All right, I am all done. Let us clock in. It's 10 o'clock and I want to go take a shower and kind of get ready and answer some work chats because I was supposed to have a 9.30 a.m. meeting, but then ended up actually getting that pushed. As a corporate attorney working from home, I figured, you know, I'd get dressed up and feel the part. I am wearing my, I don't know if you can see, my aloe trouser pants. These are sick. I love these so much because they're really super flowy and comfy, but then are also trousers. I had to keep it swaggy even though when I work from home. Let's get to work. I have a couple of emails to answer. We're actually having a big company um, announcement. New released products and features are being announced to the public today. So I'm going to hop in and listen to that and answer some, some emails and work chats. So it is around 10.25 a.m. right now. I just responded to a couple of emails and some work DMs. But basically what I'm gonna be doing right now is go through a couple of my other work assignments and start responding to some clients. So you may be wondering, what do I actually do as an in-house corporate attorney? Um, I'm actually a contractor at a Fortune 500 company, so I can't list who they are, but I basically work Monday through Friday, normal hours, and I'll show you at the end of my workday how I actually log that time in. But I'm basically doing product counseling and data privacy, giving the risks that are associated with the certain products that our product team is working through. I also do a little bit of research counseling as well. So when a research project comes through, I assess the risks and let them know from a product counsel perspective what the risks are. So it is 11.08 a.m. and I usually don't break my fast until around this time. Just opened up my first protein shake, or not my first, but I guess my first meal of the day. Um, and I've been pretty hungry since we worked out this morning. And then my 12 o'clock meeting ended up getting pushed to another time because we have like a company-wide event and it's kind of like forcing everyone to 
to watch and everyone's been kind of pushing their meetings until another day or the afternoon. It's kind of a good thing because I can work on some of my other assignments I have to do. I have a lot of work to get done today and this this following week. The legal work that I'm doing here at my current job is very different from what I was doing at the last job I was working in-house and that is mainly because I was doing all transactional law so I was you know redlining contracts almost every single day I would say I was probably doing 70% transactional work redlining contracts and agreements and negotiating contracts the other 30% was doing marketing compliance. I was in charge of all the marketing legal um, approvals. So I worked very closely with our brands and marketing team. The type of work that I'm doing now is much more geared towards product counseling and um, assessing the risks. The reason why it's a little bit more difficult for me is this is a brand new field of law that I'm kind of reaching out to. The, the risks are very different from when I was used to like transactional law and doing contracts so just a lot of room for for growth and learning a new area of law but i've been at this contract for since last june 15 months i would say um this contract ends for me at the end of this year so i will see if i if it gets renewed for another six months but either way it's been a blast i really have learned so much from this job so far but very different from definitely being from a litigator and even from working at my last in-house counsel job i love how i'm able to expand my expertise more in product counseling and the tech world and um data privacy laws our company is so big we probably have around 2,000 attorneys all right we are halfway through the day it is 12 12 p.m and i have 5,850 steps i gotta get my steps in i usually would go on my hot girl walk but i'm not gonna do that until after my two o'clock meeting now that i've been sitting for around like almost like two hours i'm going to <laughs> do what i like to do and kind of pace up and down the living room but i usually do this um right before i have lunch It is officially 12.51 p.m. I just got done with my little hot girl, walk, hot girl walk up and down, just pacing my apartment. This is literally what I do. This is a trick that I do just to get some steps in between you know, my work day. I want to really have a walking pad, but my girlfriend won't let me do that because it's too expensive and you know, she has a point. I can just pace inside the apartment and, and I can walk outside. I think it's a healthy investment for myself. It's hard to do honestly work. Sometimes it's even hard for me to really focus to concentrate just when I'm standing at my desk. Still a nice thing to, to have if you're just doing administrative work, trying to do like mindless work basically. I have officially, now it's 12.52 p.m. I have 8,166 steps. So I literally just paced 2,000-ish uh, steps just from pacing up and back and forth my living room. It's 1.10 p.m. right now. I have a meeting at 2 and 2.15. So I was contemplating if I should just have lunch afterwards. YOLO, I should just do it. Yeah, okay, come with me. I'm gonna make some lunch. My girlfriend always meal preps us some food in the beginning of the week. So today I'm having protein pasta. Basically like marinara with the cottage cheese and turkey, but it is fire. I'm gonna add a little cheese, some queso, some extra protein on top. Ooh, almost there. Are you 255 grams? I want to give some thoughts about just kind of where my life is at with working from home. It might seem boring on film or just because I'm in the same space. I'm like in my kitchen, in my living room, you know, just like in a tiny apartment, but I really enjoy my alone time and just being by myself. I do miss like the office camaraderie and just being around people that are familiar faces and having the social aspect of it. This is a nice change in my life, having to be worried about being late to work, about your boss seeing you work, and just different things that get a different vibe when you're working from home. So I think I'm truly blessed to have this opportunity that I'm in, I'm in right now, and I definitely don't take it for granted. I love how I can just, you know, heat up my food if I don't meal prep. I do miss like getting ready every single day and seeing my work homies, but I, I wouldn't change it for anything. Yeah. I 
feel like I've been doing a pretty good job vlogging. Eating, have the camera set up, it's going. No, no, you're all good, you're all good. I, I cannot see you, but I can hear you, so that's the most important thing, right? <laughs> They just want to make sure that legal is looped in to what's happening. So how can we help you today? Yeah, so... Yeah. Yeah, no worries. Thanks, everyone. All right. Bye. Whew. Okay, so... It is around 2.46 p.m. right now, and I'm about to have my first coffee of the day. I've actually been pretty good about not having coffee, like the first thing I ingest into my body in the morning, mainly because I just like to have it as an afternoon pick-me-up, and I drink a lot of coffee on the weekends. But during the work week, I usually don't have my coffee until the afternoon. I have the Starbucks that Michelle and I picked up this morning, so I can finally drink this now. Get to work a little bit more, maybe work for another hour or so. So, um, and then actually fold some laundry and finish up the workday. So, cheers. Yo, I just want to say today was a very long day. You know, it's what, 4.45 right now. I'm still working a little bit. Today was a, a good day to film a day in a life because I rather film a day in a life where work is really busy than kind of having a little bit of a slower day so that way um, I have more stuff to talk about and more stuff to film. So no complaints from me, I guess, on that end. All right, so it is officially 5.04 p.m. and I am clocking out now and just finishing up wrapping up a couple messages to my boss. Yeah, so essentially, like I mentioned before, I don't bill like a traditional attorney. I bill uh, daily. So I bill for 10 hours every single day for 50 hours a week. It's not actually 50 hours a week, but it's more of like a standard nine to five, uh, 40 hours. But at the company I work at, um, I'm billing for per day, 10 hours per day. Go to like my timesheet and I literally just input 10 hours. And then I put the tasks I kind of did today or just like a broad general sense. There are usually not sticklers on that. And I just submit my time. And then once I'm done, I just switch the computers in between my work laptop into home desktop. So that way when Michelle gets home, she can just go straight into YouTube editing. It pretty much worked eight to 5 p.m. today. And yeah, now we'll, the rest of the night will be all the YouTube stuff.